appears to be in order. Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're going to be reviewing The Hobbit uh, by Jersey Jack Pinball today. Please look for a review in the description of our YouTube video, as well as begin. like and follow us on social media formats, Arcade and Pinball Talk on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as YouTube. If you like arcade, if you like pinball, join our family. Click subscribe now. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? Stop it. You hard Sunday. Throw cutters. First things first, if you're not a fan of The Hobbit or uh, J.R.R. Tolkien, then uh, I'll tell you what, you may not like this game, but I will tell you right out the gate, it looks beautiful. So that mid ramp right there goes around the dragon, kind of falls down into that area where the dragon's at. Comes up to a wire form, exits the left end lane. Also exits to your kick out. You go up that ramp again. What I think it is. It's got some things interact with you through the play field. Going out the ball lock again, right by the dragon, drops it in there again. The ball to his lock. Smog's talking right now. Kick out, comes right back in, lane to the left. Cap the ball to the middle of the two ramps in the middle. The stunned up targets. Two in lanes to the left, two in lanes to the right, one exit lane to the left and right. Top bumpers to the back right, which also go right down the middle whenever it exits, so be aware of that. Beautiful little monitor to the inside kind of tells you what's going on with the bonus, especially when you're watching the ball. That's pretty nice to have. Playfield looks great. I mean, you can tell it's clip art. I say we double buy it. It looks good. We got some, some drop targets to the right side of the table right there. And you also have some drop targets right back there by small. Lots of little pop-up targets. Kind of reminds me of Medieval Madness. But anyway, that left book time ramp right there. Have it trails right to your right end lane. Right there again. So there it goes. Have a trail bar four. Drop targets aren't working on the left side. And again, we're on route at Tappers in Indianapolis and their games are well maintained here. That's the first time I've seen an error uh, or something not working on the machine at this point. And they have a lot of uh, pinball machines here. Anyway, uh, Playfield looks good. Soundtrack is good. Sound bites are good. It's exactly what you would expect from The Hobbit. Beautiful Playfield. Theme is working for it. I would tell you replayability on this is definitely there too. There's that, that drop target that's not engaging, so I may not be able to get. I may not be able to get to that. We'll go up the lock ball. We'll get our third ball lock. That allows to potentially hit multi ball at this point. Smog's about to blow some fire at us. So now we're in multi ball on Hobbit. Great game, good flow to this game too. I gotta say, I'm, I'm a big shots and layout guy. And flow is my third criteria that I ultimately judge every machine on, besides the artwork. You know, obviously the playability, the replayability, the fun factors. Even have some axes and the slings popping out at me at this point. That's pretty awesome. Lots of things, lots of things popping up through the uh, the play field, which engages you. You got a scoop over there by the target. Kicks up to your left wire form, to your left end lane. So really cool. Really cool table. Besides, besides Willy Wonka, I've never played a Jersey Jack game. I've always found a lot of games, but not Jersey Jack in, in, in public. A lot of people buy them for their homes, but Tappers has a bunch of them. I think they got four or five of them here, so great area to, to play some Jersey Jack. And I'll tell you what, I'm loving this Hobbit game. It's really good. So there's your kick out, so it went into the table, kicks up the wire form, exit left end lane. And the axes coming out of the slings are pretty cool too. You know, movie clips are on this, so that, that actually adds to the, to the dimension of the game. There's that wire form kick out again. Capture ball to the middle right there, just hit that. There we go. 
So without smog and gauge, your wire farm goes your kick out to the left. Obviously these pop-ups want you to hit them more than once. And so now I just got another jackpot. So I'm gonna try to clear these uh, pop-ups out. Missed it by now. Oh, again. Hit the beast! Book time comes around, have a trail to your right in lane. But the, the, the music actually engages you. See, that's the thing. Some of these games, some of these games, the music is just kind of, you know, scattered. This music actually, as you're rocking and rolling on it, it actually gets more pumped up. So it gets you pumped up to play it even harder. That's, that's pretty awesome. I do love that aspect that the soundtrack is almost like moderated based off your gameplay. That is actually cool. Something to think of to all the other pinball companies that are out there. Keep that in mind. Beautiful. Got a high score on this machine. Just killing it up here. I guess I need to come to Indianapolis more often to, uh, to, uh, put my names on machines. Anyway, that's not my, uh, that's not my actual phone uh, and my camera moving at this point. That's actually the machine moving. So anyway, uh, very nice. Oh, well, Great say. game. Absolutely recommend The Hobbit by Jersey Jack Campbell. Please look for our review underneath the description of the uh, video that we have underneath on YouTube. All of our metrics will be down there. Thank you again for watching today. Until next time, RK Pinball signing off.